Okay, so the last two weeks we talked about the different fundamentals of this Bitcoin and Ethereum and blockchain and everything. So the, the important thing is to understand what they are. And today we are going to finally buy some crypto. So we're going to figure out how to buy, we're going to buy a few things. So we're going to, today we're going to focus on, you know, creating a wallet. Because the whole important thing about crypto is that you hold your own wallet. So if you, this is very important. So we're going to look at password, how to keep them and, you know, things to, things to care about. So you need to get your, you need to write those down. Then we're going to buy, we're going to buy USDC. So this is the crypto USD. We're going to buy them from Coinbase. That means we're going to create an account there. So we need to register there. We're going to buy Bitcoin. We are going to buy, we're going to buy Ethereum, Ether. And we are going to buy some uh, DeFi, DeFi coins. So DeFi is decentralized finance. And six, we're going to, we're going to transfer money in DeFi. So we're going to do these six things today. And before we start, is there anything else you want to talk about, you want to clarify, you want us to cover today? Huh? No? Do you have any? Is there a link for us to create um, the wallet? Or yeah, so we're going to, I, I'll go through step by step with you and then we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a screen recording on the laptop so to show how to create a wallet. And for wallet, we're going to do two things. We're going to do desktop and we're going to do phone. So these ones are basically, uh, just keep them in your, it's a wallet app which is different from, from like Coinbase which is uh, an exchange. So that's the only that's the only thing to, to take note because it requires extra step but it's like way more secure. That's why it's more important. Okay? If that's that's good, then we'll just transfer to the laptop and get connected and we can get we'll start with creating a wallet. So the first thing that we want to do now is to create wallet. So let's start with the Ethereum wallet. So we go to MetaMask and you just go to metamask.io all we want to do is to download the extension for chrome and then we get started so we create a new wallet you agree and then you create a password Create, and then you will review the secret words. What you have to do is to just remember and create this. So this is just a test case. I'm going to show you what it is. I'm not going to use this MetaMask wallet. So this is so that's why I'm going to show you the secret words. But in your case, close the secret words. Do not show it at all. This is your password. This is your your username that you can't show anyone ever at all. Okay, so I'm going to show you only for a case study. I'm not going to use this MetaMask wallet. This is only for demo purposes. Keep this properly and don't show anyone. So what you want to do is copy paste this and keep it somewhere. Keep it very safe. Make sure you do not lose this. This is very, very, very important. So I'm going to just write it down and I'm just going to use this. Yeah, I'm just going to write it down. In the future examples, I'll show you my, I'll do transactions based on my actual MetaMask wallet. This is a demo account. Please do not show the secret backup face to anyone. Keep this very, very safe. Then, of course, you have to prove that you have written down the words, which is very important. So now you see that you have created it. So this 12 word seed phrase is very, very, very important. Keep it and do not show anyone. So basically we're done. And this is basically our MetaMask wallet. This is our account. So 
this is my account number. This is your basically your bank account number. Anyone can send it to you. This is how you can track it. And we have different kind of tokens in there. We it starts off with ETH and then you can add different kind of tokens. So you can have DAI. And then you can just add that to the kind of the, the tokens you have in your wallet. So think of it as USD, think of it as you know GBP, different kind of currencies. So your wallet just has just has the currencies. So this is it for ETH wallet. So that was for Ethereum and all Ethereum based tokens. Now we want to create a wallet for Bitcoin. Again, this is just for demo purposes. I'm just going to show you how it works. So you can create a, you can just get the extension instead, instead of downloading the app, up to you. So once again, create a new wallet, agree. So you want to back up. Again, this is private, so please do not show it to anyone. Just remember these numbers. Take a picture, write them down, keep them very safe, do not let anyone see them. Once again, do not show anyone this. I'm only showing you because this is a demo. In real life or in your life, do not show anyone this. Write them down, keep it safe, do not show anyone. That's it. So you can put Bitcoin inside here. And this is just one example. Okay, this is Jack's Liberty. This is just one example. You can go to Bitcoin Wallet. And if you Google, you can have a lot of other options. You can go to Bitcoin.org. They help you to choose your wallet as well. You can base on different kind of mechanisms and then they help you to choose. So let's say I've got an Apple and I want a hardware wallet or, or a wallet in my laptop, up to you. If you're new, click new, next, and you can click whatever stuff you want. And then you can click yeah, other, other different things. And then they give you different kind of recommendations. So Bitcoin.org, they give you different recommendations to keep your Bitcoin wallet. Once again, this is very important. Keep the password safe. Keep that 12 word phrase safe. Do not show anyone ever. And do not lose it. So we finished creating wallets. Now we need to get these tokens so we can put them in the wallets. So we're going to go to coinbase.com forward slash join, forward slash T-A-N underscore P-X-N. So this is a referral link that I have. You can choose not to use it if you don't want to. And this referral link, basic, this referral link basically, basically gives you $10 worth of Bitcoins if you buy or sell $100 more of crypto. So it's good for you. If you want to do that, do that. If you don't want, then don't do that. Up to you. So basically go to Coinbase, key in your details, put your first name, last name, email, password, Certify that you're 18 and above, and then create an account. Here, you will, have, you will need to have either your passport or your national identification or driver's license because Coinbase is a regulated company. They will check if you're a real person. So that means you have to prove that you're a real person. You have to, prove, you have to give your real address, your real email, your real name because that will be verified against the identification details that you give. So do that and then create an account in Coinbase and then we're going to start buying some tokens. Your username. Just go to MetaMask, click this, add to clipboard, and that's basically your username. That's your account number. So this is where this this one zero x something. You can send this to people because that's how you manage. You can receive your tokens. If you want to send stuff from Coinbase to your wallet, use this address, and it will send to this specific wallet. I have a few other wallets and this wallet is the one is a specific wallet with 0x something that ends with b6 so just click this to copy and then paste this address to either give it to someone so that they send money to you or put it in coinbase so you can transfer money from coinbase to you so 
Okay, Coin, Coinbase is where I take my Singapore dollars and US dollar into crypto version. Okay, and then I will paste it. Then I can call this well, save. So I'll send you, I'll send you, okay. I can either put it in ETH or put it in USD. So I can send you either in USD dollar, in US dollar the denomination or in Singapore dollar denomination, for example, right? But I'm going to send you USD. So let's say I'm going to send you uh, $20. $20. And that's 0.0148815 Ethereum. Can you see? So this, equi this is equivalent to 20 bucks. So every time when you send to me, is there a fee involved? Yes, that's where I'm going. So transaction fee. This is the, the transaction fees available. You have uh, $2 something, $3 something, $4 something. Right? And this is basically the transaction fees paid to the miners. Remember we talked about miners? You know, they, they have to check. So it. every transaction, I need to pay fee. Exactly. Every time it moves from your wallet to some other wallet or you do any trade or whatever, you have to pay. So just now when that is doing, so the miner is... Oh, for, for, for Coinbase, it's different. Coinbase is... It's a gateway to turn your your Singapore dollars to the crypto dollars, right? This is within crypto already. So everything from crypto to crypto, you have to pay transaction fees here. Because we're dealing with $20. If you're doing dealing with you know $200,000, it's a lot cheaper than sending via, via the bank accounts. Okay, yeah. so if $20 is 2.83, how about 200 USD? Okay. It's still the same, 283. Yeah. So that's why it's it's more worth it, you know, for people who are doing big transactions. But of course, you know, sometimes this can change. Uh it dep also depending on how many people are awake, how many people are doing transactions, right? If now a lot of people are doing transactions, then I have to pay yeah. more. Remember? Yeah, I have to pay more so that people will validate. So remember I can decide how much transaction fees I want to pay. So this is where I decide. So I can choose I can choose whatever I want. Okay, so we then go. If, then I, if I'm greedy, definitely I will choose lesser transaction fee. Yeah, but nobody will validate your transactions. Nobody, the miner is not going to care about your transactions. So that's the trade off, right? So what I do now, I go next. And then they just confirm. So this is, this is the amount that I'm going to give you. How, it's value in $20, $20, but I'm actually going to give you this amount of ETH. And this is the, the guest fee I have to pay, $2.83. And then I confirm. Now that we have created and verified our Coinbase account, now we want to go and buy some coins. So you go to buy and sell. You want to buy. You add a payment mode. You add your different cards in there, whatever currency it is. And then you just click buy or you can click sell. Or you can convert if you have other coins. But I think you guys are all beginners. So just add a payment mode. Add debit or credit card, and then you can just buy Bitcoin, Ethereum, USDC, or anything from Coinbase. The important thing is don't leave your things on Coinbase. Always bring them to MetaMask. You can open up your MetaMask again, find your address, and then send to each other or send to yourself. So that's the that's the thing for Coinbase, and then that's how you can buy. You can turn your USD or SGD or whatever currency like government issued currency into cryptocurrencies so that's what you can do via coinbase so that's it for our video this week i hope you managed to set up the account and you managed to get some of these tokens you can send them around if you have any questions just put them in the comments below and next week we will look a little bit more at how to buy other tokens and why do you and how how do you buy them where do you buy them and let's explore decentralized finance, DeFi. See you next week.